A campaign to allow guns on Texas college and university campuses was headed for a revival even before today's UT shooting. Efforts failed during the last legislative session, but supporters say this could be the sway lawmakers need to push it through next spring. KXA and political reporter Josh Hinkle joins us live to look more at the controversy about this legislation to allow guns inside the classroom. Josh? There are plans to refile a House bill to do just that. Representative Joe Driver, a Republican from Garland, tells me he's had plans to put guns on college campuses even before today's shooting at UT. However, back in 2009, his bill didn't even make it to the floor for a vote. A similar bill passed 20 to 11 in a Senate, but also didn't make it to the House floor for a vote. Supporters said these bills would have prevented tragedies like those at Virginia Tech in 2007 and at Northern Illinois University in 2008. The Brady campaign against gun violence said at the time of the Texas bills, six other states were considering guns on campus legislation. The group Students for Concealed Carry on Campus says there are 24 states that prohibit guns on college campuses right now. 15 states leave that decision up to the school, and only one state, Utah, absolutely allows guns on campus. Back in 2009, there were several groups against the bills in Texas. They said having weapons on campus would only promote more violence. At UT, the Faculty Advisory Council, Student Government, and the Graduate Student Assembly all passed resolutions against those bills. And before today, those groups were expected to oppose the upcoming legislation as well. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.